Police involved shootings, another national hot topic making headlines in Maryland. Tonight, a first look at body camera video from last week's police shooting in Baltimore City. In Focus reporter Brian Kubler just watched the video. So, Brian, exactly how much does it show? I'm sure it's graphic. Well, Kelly, this is the first use of force caught on a body camera here in Baltimore. We want to warn all of our viewers here tonight, this video is graphic. It started with a 911 call on Black Friday morning. When officers arrive at East 33rd in Green Mountain, Waverly, they find this 48-year-old man armed with these two knives. Put your knives out, man. We don't want to do this. Despite several orders to drop the knives taser, taser, taser. and one use of a taser, two officers then fired several shots. Ready, give me two breaths. Ready? Two breaths. Immediately after the shooting, officers rendered aid to the suspect, including CPR from the officer who shot him. While police brass say the video reveals a lot about Friday's shooting, they caution it is only one piece of evidence. They attempted to get him to put the weapons down, and again, the, the, the rest of this is something that really we need to learn through the investigation. Um, and, and again, I, I, can't, I can't say enough that the video is, is but one element of the overall investigation. Put the knives down! An investigation that is ongoing. Still, despite that and possible pushback from the state's attorney's office, Commissioner Kevin Davis says he opted to release this video and err on the side of transparency. The stakes are high when police use deadly force, and they should be high when police use deadly force. So when the stakes are high, uh, we're not going to cower. So if we say we're going to be transparent and we're going to release video, that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, again, that man did survive the shooting. It is unclear tonight whether or not he will face charges. Meanwhile, both officers in that video are on routine administrative leave pending the outcome of their internal investigation. Reporting live at City Police Headquarters in downtown Baltimore, Brian Kubler, ABC2 News.